Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I wanna to show you all my favorite Harry Potter finds from Amazon. All right, so to kick it off with item number one, it's gonna be my Harry Potter illustrated books. The illustrations in these books are gorgeous. So far they've only come out with the first four books. So the latest one is going to be the Goblet of Fire and I have that one here. If you flip through them, you'll see some really gorgeous pictures. So some of them will just have text on them. Some pages are going to have one page dedicated to an illustration. One really cool thing about these books is it's going to have the illustrations based on the book, obviously, <laughs> more so than the movie. So in the book versus the movies, Voldemort has actually red snake-like eyes, which they show you here, which is really cool. And it's a different version you can see um, than just having the version from the movies. Here they show you the Death Eaters and what they look like. So they do differ from the movies. Let's see if I can flip through like this one. Okay, so this is in the Goblet of Fire. So in the very beginning when they go to the Quidditch match and everyone is intense. So this kind of shows you that scene a little better. Show you some of the stuff from the Prisoner of Azkaban. I actually do have all four. I only just grabbed these two. Here's a picture from the Prisoner of Azkaban, the night bus. Oh, here's a really pretty one. So these are the Hippogriffs and Buckbeak. It's so beautiful. So it's just two pages dedicated to an illustration. It's really cool how they show some pages just illustrations and then some are gonna have the illustration and text on it. And here's Crewshanks with Scabbers, where we find later on Scabbers ain't so much Scabbers, is he? <laughs> okay, I'm such a nerd. Okay, done with that. <laughs> All right, so I love collecting these. So I'm not really a big book collector. I have my original paperbacks that I read the series off of and then I started collecting these ones because they're so beautiful. How could you not? So as each one comes out, I actually purchase them off of Amazon. I always find that Amazon has the better deals on these books. They usually have them like $10 off sometimes or 20% off or 10% off, something like that. And I wait for those sales and then that's when I purchase these. So look out for those sales if you are interested in these Harry Potter illustration books. All right, so my next items are water bottles. Yes, water bottles. So my first one is this super adorable Skelligro water bottle. This is so cute that I like to display this one on my Harry Potter shelf behind me. I put it with the rest of my potions. It looks super cute up there. But if I wanted to, I could use this as just a water bottle. It's plastic, twist off like that, and pretty lightweight, easy to carry. Throw it in your bag, it would be adorable. And nobody would even know it's a water bottle because it's so freaking cute. My other water bottle is gonna be my Aguamente water bottle. So that one is a spell to cast for water. And that's why it says Aguamente on one side. And then on the other side, it actually has some time stamps, which is similar to my fitness must haves. I have a gallon size water bottle that has time stamps like this. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. So this is another great water bottle if you're trying to get your water in for the day. It shows you different time stamps like 8 a.m. all the way through 12 p.m. tells you to refill it and then again 2 p.m. all the way through 6 p.m. and then you got all your water that you needed for the day. Another feature that it has is this handle. It also has a push cap here and something that's really cool and different about this water bottle if you take this cap off here, this is going to be this plastic separator. So if you want to infuse your water with any fruit, you can do that and it keeps it separated from the cap so you're not clogging it up, which is really nice to have if you are someone who likes to put fruit in your water. <laughs> cool finds. <laughs> if you remember that, cool find. Another one of my finds from Amazon is going to be this light up snitch. You just tap it and the light turns on and you tap it again and the light turns off. It comes with this cord so you plug this in here and then you have to plug this into a USB. So if you want this on your desk you could plug it into your laptop if you wanted to. If you want it on a shelf or somewhere you can plug it into the wall. I like that it looks like it's floating in here when I have it on my shelves. I love the dome lid on it as well. It makes it look more magical. The HP logo on the front. 
And yes, that's it. It's super cute, super simple. Okay, next we have a Harry Potter coloring book. Yes, a coloring book. I know I'm 27, but I still love coloring books. Here's a really cool page inside. It is the Quibbler. I really love how detailed they are. Here's a scene from the Chamber of Secrets with Harry Potter. Uh, let's see what else they have. Here's the scene with Voldemort. I've seen a meme or just a picture on the internet where they draw him in with a nose. Who is it? The guy from Family Feud. I can't think of his name. It's super funny. If I see the picture, I'll put it on the screen here. It's a, it's so freaking funny, but a lot of people get creative with this one in particular. So that one would be fun to color in for sure. Oh, this one's really pretty. This one's a scene with Hogwarts in the background and you're in the Forbidden Forest. So pretty. So here's one that I've actually colored in. So I do use this occasionally. This one is Hogwarts with a Dementor coming up. Really pretty. If I do say so myself, <laughs> I think I did a good job. <laughs> but yeah, it's simple. It's a coloring book, but it's Harry Potter inspired. So if you're a fan, this is something fun to do. If you have some free time, you know, something just to help relax, de-stress, whatever. You've got a Harry Potter coloring book. Brings me joy. I love it. So that's why it's one of my Amazon favorites. Another item that can help pass the time would be a Harry Potter puzzle. I love the artwork for these Harry Potter puzzles. There's a whole collection of them. Oh, they're on the back actually. Let me see if I can show you. Sorry, it's probably really loud. They have a whole collection of this range of puzzles and they're just gorgeous. They're really fun to do. This one is 500 pieces. So whenever I do a puzzle, I like to do something that I enjoy and I enjoy Harry Potter. So. I picked this up from Amazon and it was fun to do. I definitely will do it again. I think the artwork on these puzzles are gorgeous. This is a scene out of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is at the end when he has to collect the flying key and the other ones are attacking them. He's got Hermione here and he's got Ron over here and obviously Harry of course, who's in the main middle front. It's just so detailed, so gorgeous really fun to do. So I feel like the puzzle and the coloring book go hand in hand. If you need to pass some time, relax, unwind, get your mind thinking still. And these are always great to have. My next item is going to be some Harry Potter jewelry. So this one is the Sword of Gryffindor. If I can show that to you a little better, let me see. So this is the little baggie that it came in. It's a gorgeous piece. It's very long, it dangles probably about there on me. I really like this piece. It's little, it's dainty, but it shows the detail of the Sword of Gryffindor really well. It even has the text Godric Gryffindor down the sword, which is really cool. It's like a mini replica of the sword that you would see in the movies and you just wear it as a necklace. And it's actually from the brand Alex and Ani. And I know you can get these off of Alex and Ani's website, but I found this one off of Amazon because it was sold out on their website. And I still got it in two days. I was kind of skeptical because I was like, is it actually Alex and Ani? But it is. They have their own page on Amazon and it has the logo here. So it's all legit. And it came in their little Alex and Ani bag. And they even had a discount on Amazon, I think for $10 off. They might still have it going on. I'll link it down in my description if you are interested. I love throwing a little accent of Harry Potter in some of my outfits. It's something subtle where if you're not a huge Harry Potter fan, you might not even notice it, but if you are, you're definitely gonna point it out and it's something fun to wear and spice up some of your outfits. All right, so I think I only have three more items. So the next two are actually wearables. The first one is going to be a Harry Potter cloak. This one is in Gryffindor, of course, because that is my house. It has the crest here. So this is a great alternative than buying the replica version that Universal Orlando sells at the Wizarding World. So this one is about $40, where that one's gonna be more 100, 115, 150. I think that's what those ones run for, depending if you're getting kid sizes up to adults. It's a fleece material. It has whatever house color you have down the side, and then it's just black everywhere else. And inside the hood, it's going to show you your house color, 
and it's got the pointy hood just like the replica version does and it has a little buckle here what's nice about this buckle is you can move it you can take it off and place it wherever fits best so this is a harry potter hogwarts cloak Gimental, gimental. <laughs> All right, the next wearable item is also a cloak, but it's the invisibility cloak. So this one shows you a picture here. So the outside is going to have that really pretty design, and then the inside is just going to be a green screen. And that's how you can create a video of you going invisible, going underneath the cloak. I will try to insert a clip here showing you that. So for this invisibility cloak, you have to download an app and you have to use the camera that's in the app for it to go invisible. So step one, you have to set it up. So it kind of takes a picture of whatever the background is going to be. Then step two, you go into the app and you have the cloak on and then you flip it over so that it shows the green screen area and then you're gonna be invisible. Really cool, fun thing to use. All right, so inside it comes with the cloak and it also comes with a little tripod so you can put your phone attached here and then it has the little legs that just come out I think these bend yep and these bend so it's really nice that it comes with the tripod as well as the cloak so this is the green screen side and then the other side let's see is going to be the pretty material it's got its instructions in here it shows you what app you need to download it works with apple or google play it shows you that you can make it look like you have a floating head floating objects magical footprints things like that it's by wow stuff so you have to download a wow stuff app to show you some of the details it's got little moons on it different shapes really cute so for my last Harry Potter Amazon find is going to be this Lego set. So you can get all these Lego sets from other places, of course, like Target, Walmart, any local store, I'm sure will sell Lego. Lego's website, I'm sure has it. But what's cool about getting this off Amazon is that they sell this light kit as well on there. And we got the light kit for this night bus and it's really cool. So I'm gonna turn it on to show you. So it has this little battery pack. It also has an option where you can plug it into a USB. So the headlights light up. It even has a little chandelier inside. It even changes colors. I don't know if you can see inside, but now it's green as well as the backlights light up and the front. All right, so I'll open it up here so you can take a look at the chandelier a little better. It does change colors. It's going from green To yellow to red and it also sways really cool it also has the bed that goes inside it's got the driver Ernie it also has Shan Shunpike hanging off the back there and then the front you might be able to see the shrunken head super cute on the back it has the little all destinations nothing underwater of course but it's really cool that you can buy the lights separate it does take a little bit of time to put the lights on here but it definitely is really cool payoff at the end if you do it i've never seen anything like it before the lights are definitely not by lego but i will leave a link down in the description where i got it off amazon but it's really cool really easy to use the directions are really helpful it gives you a step-by-step -step on how to do it. And then two other little features that it comes with is a Harry, of course, and his trunk. Inside his trunk has a lantern, a wand, a piece of chocolate, and his letter to Hogwarts. So that concludes my Harry Potter favorites from Amazon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.